that JB Marks Local Municipalities Office of the Executive Mayor, led by the MMC for Transversal Services, Tandi Wemdai, together with the Deputy Minister of Labour and Employment, Honorable Binki Muloi, are awarding school shoes to learners today at Tlokwe Secondary School in Ikacheng, Pochefstrum. This activity is an act of social responsibility and will bring relief to learners and parents as these school children go to school without shoes even during cold weather conditions. As Platinum Northwest TV News, we are here to witness that today. We speak to the representative of the school. Say, I will allow you to introduce yourself first. Yes, I'm Dr. Pelesa Mafisa. I'm the principal of Troka Secondary School. Okay. Um, how do you feel after this activity that just happened? now that the department has donated the shoes. We feel so excited and very happy and thankful and grateful to the council, to the deputy minister, uh, Pinky Muloi, and uh, uh, our executive mayor, Ndate Gabakatele, for considering our school as they, were, they have been the former students of Kroko Secondary School. So they are plowing back to the school and we are so happy that they haven't forgotten us. They are back and we are going to have many projects with them. As the educators are the ones that are identifying the school children that are going to get these shoes, what criteria do you follow? Normally what we do, we, we, we do our own observation. Uh, we can see learners who are really struggling and um, they really don't, they don't pretend to be struggling. And what we also do in the classroom as the teachers are teaching, they can identify such learners. Sometimes you see a lot of learner absenteeism. Some learners stay absent from school because they don't want to be ridiculed or to be laughed at by other learners. And we follow up such, such absenteeism. And so then we, we then, most of the time, we realize that these are the learners who are in need. You see, uh, late coming, learner late coming, Sometimes we find that these learners come from very poor backgrounds. They come from sheds and they use paraffin and all that and they cannot afford even the clothes to wear. So then um, we then can identify such learners. Did all the school children receive the shoes or are there any that didn't get anything at all? There are not all of them of course, but uh, we have quite a number of them who have received according to our criteria, the criteria that we used. But it's quite interesting, uh, as we have been giving out, uh, we realize there are others who come forth. Because there are some of our learners who don't want really to be seen, to be struggling. So when they see that something is being done about the applied, then they come forth and then we also then involve the deputy minister, uh, the executive mayor, council and the assist in this regard. Thank you so much, Ndad. And now we speak to a member of the school governing body. That uh, please start by introducing yourself. I'm Samuel Mokubani, the chairperson of the school governing body of Tokwa Secondary School. Um, how do you feel after these donations have been done here today? This is a very exciting moment for the learners of the school. Uh, you know, ma'am, we learners have been struggling to come to school because of uniform and especially shoes. Now that it's winter, it's been a very troubled sum because we've got, we have been having many absenteeism due to learners not coming to school because of not having either uniform or, sc or school shoes. But this now, the intervention of the mayor together with the partnership that they have with BATA and the office of the deputy uh, 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 minister uh, of labor it's a, it's a very good project and we are really appreciated. It couldn't have come at a better time for the school and for this year. Uh, it, I think this uh, initiative will uh, go well for our achievement for our 100% in our lifetime. Is it only the educators that identify the school children or do you also have a say as the SGP? No, we uh, definitely have a say because we've got one, one of our member, Ms. Kute, who's also identified some uh, of the learners uh, who are on the list who will be getting the, 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 the school shoes from uh, the initiative of today. And the SGB is very much involved in the well-being of, of, the, of the learners of this school because we are the governors here. We have to know each and every learner, each and every 
community member, who is the community member of this school, especially Nana. We have to know all about them. Okay, moving forward, are there any plans that you have as the SGP to assist school children? Uh, with the partnership of, you know, as, as a school governing body, because this, our school is a section 21 uh, a school, there isn't much that we can get from, from the parents. We only depend on the sec section 21 allocation. Uh, going forward, we think partnership with the private sector, like the, our municipality and other uh, 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 donors, I think we can take the school because it's not only in case of uniform and we've got many challenges. You know, if you look at the parameters of our school, the parameter fence, you can see that it's a disaster. And this uh, doesn't go well because we've had many break-ins because of people uh, coming in easily into our school. Now we need to partner with the private sector to get some things uh, going in our school, especially to safeguard the staff learners and teachers of the school. It is our priority and it is the, uh, uh, we, we long that everybody could be safe but there is so much that we can do with the little that we have from government. Okay. Thank you so much Tata yeah. for your time. Thank you. The MMC for Transversal Services, Mama Tandi Wemdai, is here to answer some of the questions that we have. Mama, welcome. Thank Mama, this is indeed a great initiative. Why did you choose the school? Thank you very much. Um, my name is Tandre Mdai, as you said. Uh, we chose this school because our, our executive mayor and the deputy minister were in this school. Yeah, so he, they saw um, a need to come back and say thank you to the teachers, to the principals who has kept the, uh, the school running and to actually give the support to, 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 the, to, to, to the young people. Okay. Um, is this a yearly thing? Definitely, it's going to be a yearly thing. As my office works with young people, we actually want to, 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 to bring more projects, you know, in enhancing our young people's lives and they should enjoy this space as, as it, it's their own space. Yeah. Okay, does it end with the, the shoes or is there a follow-up that will be done maybe to help these kids with their home situations? Is there a follow-up that will be done after this or does it end with the shoes? No, definitely there is a, a, a follow-up. I've been speaking to the principal and I've asked the principal with the SGB uh, chairperson. I told them to please sit down with their kids and actually give us those kids that we know that even at home, their background is it's difficult so that we actually engage deeper on that. Yeah. Are there any other projects that we can expect from the department? Okay. Um, we, we will be having a, a, a school uniform handouts uh, at the end of the year. We want it to be uh, so that next year when they come, and lookable, presentable, and yeah. okay, Thank you so much, ma'am. Well, that was the MMC for Transversal Services. Please do stay tuned for more updates as we'll be chatting with the Deputy Minister of Labour and Employment very shortly. The Deputy Minister of Labour and Employment is here to answer some of the questions that we have. Mama, welcome. Thank you very much. I hope you are doing well. Yes, we are. Yeah. Okay, how did you <laughs> Okay, how did you guys identify the school? How did you end up here? Okay, um, thank you so much um, and greetings uh, to your viewers. Um, I'm, I was a student in this school, um, by the way, um, uh, while it was in the other school before uh, it came to this site. Um, I think I, I last was a student here in 1988, yes, uh, 88, 1988. So, um, Mr. Mafisa, the school principal, we know each other from church and all that so we have always interacted with the school so that's why we are here but by the way we came in January with the executive mayor uh, we were here with the school governing body we were here with the officials of the Department of Education the district office uh, checking the school's needs and, and we realized that the school there are kids, still kids children who still are from very poor background who don't have school shoes like uniform and then we identified the the niche that uh, uh, myself and the executive mayor we decided to combine our efforts 
and at least uh, bring the we, we committed 200 school shoes 200 pairs of school shoes to bring to the school we have taken too long but finally we decided that today is the day and uh, i'm sure you are aware that the executive mayor couldn't come today because uh, he's actually writing exams but at least he has sent uh, his uh, uh, members of the mayoral committee and the pa who are here representing him and we are here together with the school the chairperson of the sgb and the school principal is here and remember today the kids are writing exams so we didn't want to disrupt the school so that is why we, th we thought that during the break we can then do the handover and that is why we allowed the handover to take place so that the kids can go back to write those who are writing we don't have to disturb them are there any other projects that we can expect from the department that will assist the school children? Remember, we are Department of Employment and Labor. What we could do only in the school that we have committed to do is to register because we do have what we call ESSA. Uh, is a system, is a database system that we have in the Department of Employment and Labor. What we could do is to register the matriculants, those who are writing metric. Uh, we can register them in our database so, because not everybody who's, who's able to pass metric is able to go further to a university or institution of higher learning, but some can be employable immediately depending on the skills, depending on what they are doing here at school. So we can register them in our database so that as and when they're looking for employment, because our database, we what we do, we also do career counseling. So we can uh, um, counsel them uh, based on their careers, but also network them, uh, put them in, in those, because there are uh, there is a database of employers who are looking for employees or those who can work for them. So we can network them with job opportunities as and when necessary. Okay. The system that you're talking about, does it also accommodate young people that are battling with unemployment? Because young people now are suffering from depression and anxiety because of the rate of unemployment. Are there any plans that you have as the, the, as the department to reduce the rate? We, 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 that, dip, that system actually of ESSA, every labor department uh, office where every, of, by the way, in our province, we do have our labor offices uh, uh, next to Home Affairs. But what we do, we do also go to points, like we can come to the school and register those uh, work seekers in the school we can identify either a community hall and or a church to come and register those who are unemployed and who are looking for opportunities uh, we can register them in our system but also that career counseling uh, can also work well to counsel those who have been unemployed who are not anywhere we call them the need, not in education, not in employment, who are not in training, and uh, we are able to register them and check what skills do they have, and then we can be able to, to put them in those available uh, opportunities that we, the department from time to time uh, brings closer to the people. Well, thank you, Mama, for your time. You. That was the Deputy Minister of Labor and Employment, and she made very important mentions of the future that they have um, of the future plans that they have as the department to help school children and even young people. It's Komadem Khabalala and this is Platinum Northwest TV News. Platinum Northwest TV, welcome to a new world of television. Check out shows like Street Vibes and bring out Lama Gusheshe with spinners and bikers as we take a tour of the Platinum Province via Bukoni Ukirima. Checking in on our daily lives, of course, Platinum Insider brings the juice by Omo Nating We Unwind. All of this and more on Starsat Channel 120 from 6pm to 10pm. Platinum Northwest TV.